Welcome back. Now to use AngularJS, we need a few things. First of the first thing I want is actually Node.js. So I want a server to run my Angular application on because that's going to execute the JavaScript code that Angular is going to build for me, right? The second thing is I want Angular CLI. CLI is command line interface. So it's a way for me to talk and make components using a command prompt. So yes, you'll have to learn to use a terminal or command prompt inside my lessons if you want to follow along. And that's not too scary when you start doing it. It's just writing text instead of actually clicking buttons. So try it out and you'll learn it very fast. The other thing we need is an IDE, an integrated development environment. Now the IDE can be anything you want. I'm going to use WebStorm. The reason I want to use WebStorm is because that has an integrated uh, terminal in there that we can use all of us. Now I'll talk about WebStorm in a second. The last thing I want to use is Git. So I want to store my code somewhere so you guys can get it if you want to look at it. And I'm going to even tag the code, meaning you guys can go for each of my videos, you can go and grab the specific code for that video. So how do we do this? Well, let's try first to have a look at all the things that we require. So this is WebStorm and I'll add a script in the description. I'll add a link for how to install and how to work with WebStorm because I already made videos for this. Node.js, same idea. I'll give you guys an installation guide for how to use Node.js in the description. Again, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on the Chrome VS Engine. So think of this as you can run Chrome on your own machine instead of using the actual browser right here. Angular CLI. This we will install uh, in the next lesson and start using in the next lesson. But again, I have videos for this already. I just want to recap on it, so we'll just do it real quickly because I want to make sure I have the newest version of Angular CLI before we actually start. So that's all for this lesson. Now you guys know what we're going to work with. Oh, I almost forgot. We're going to actually also have Git where I'm going to add a CP2 meme repository in here. Don't worry, I'll let you guys get a link in the description. So that's kind of what we're going to work with here to get this up and running. So see you in the next lesson where we will actually start getting the CLI down and you guys can hopefully go and watch the other videos before you continue. Have fun.